Hi everyone and welcome to Bluebeam Review. I'm Ariel with Digital Drafting Systems and today we're going to be discussing the markups list and summary reports within Review. We can access our markups list by going to our bottom panel. We can click on this line next to the Windows toolbar and as soon as it turns blue and our cursor changes, we can activate the markups list. The markups list is composed of many different columns and we can modify which ones are visible by clicking on this drop down going to columns and choosing which ones we want turned on and off. We can also create custom columns. Let's click on manage columns. We can also change the display order of these columns by clicking on them and moving these arrows. And here under custom columns we can make our own columns. I made this responsibility column and I'll show you how I made it. Let's click on modify. I gave it this name and I gave it a choice parameter instead of the date or formula parameter for example. In this case I want to choose who is responsible for what. I can select on this criteria that I've already made and click on modify. I can give it a name and a subject. This subject is very important and I'll show you how that applies to our markups. And I can add other people who I want to be responsible for certain markups. For example I've added my colleague Jimmy and he has a different subject than me and of course a different item name. So now my responsibility column is ready and it is here in my list and I can sort by responsibility just by clicking on it. For example if I wanted to see all of the markups that the architect did I can sort by subject and now all of the architects markups are there. If I only want to see the architects markups I can click on this filter icon right here and then I can filter whichever column I want. So let's filter the subject one and we will go and filter under architect and now only the architect's markups are visible. When I'm done I can click on this filter once again and go to all and then click on the filter button right up here. I can export my markups by going back to markups down here and we can import and export them right here. So we can import markups from previous PDFs and export them to our colleagues. Our subject line is very important and I'll show you why now. I've selected this markup here and you'll notice that the subject that I've created under properties for this specific markup is the same one that I've used for my responsibility column. As a result I can now scroll down, go to our custom properties and I can choose to give the responsibility of this markup to myself. But if I was to change the subject here to something else, for example, you'll notice that the responsibility subject column can't be cho chosen anymore. So if I go back and I change this back to admin, because I'm the only subject with uh, the admin, now it has automatically chosen me as the one responsible for this markup. So it's a very, very useful tool to organize and categorize who is responsible for what. If I want to see a detailed list of all of my markups, all I have to do is click on this summary button right here. I can export my list directly to Excel or I can make a very fancy PDF summary. By default, we can make very simple PDF summaries that are very simple records and this button, Append and Hyperlink to Current PDF, is not chosen automatically. This button is very special and what it does is, I'll allow our markups to process in the list, this button allows us to have an icon next to each markup that we can click and once we click that button we can be taken to the markups origin. Now that my PDF list has generated, you can see under thumbnails that I now have six more pages full of all of my markups. Let's say I wanted to find the location of this specific markup right here. All I have to do is click on the link and now I found it. It is changed from the markup page to my first page to the origin of the markup and zoomed in on it. So now I can see that markup in its entirety. It's a very useful tool for going quickly to our markup locations. You'll notice that my cursor changes to the pointer tool instead of just the regular hand with a magnifying glass. And so that's the power of making an appended hyperlink markup report. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. To see more videos about Bluebeam Review, please visit our website at ddscad.com. We hope you have a great day.